Today we're gonna be building an entire saltwater aquarium right here at one of our favorite spots that is absolutely loaded with exotic and crazy fish. I'm talking giant parrotfish, eels, even baby sharks all over this spot that we have the potential of adding to this saltwater aquarium that we're gonna be building from complete scratch. We got it. What is that thing? I don't know. Parrotfish on. There's a big eel on. Big eel on, Jack, I'm telling you right now. Look at that. Someone ate his tail off, I think. First things first is we gotta add some water to this tank and I may even fly that bird, that drone in the sky to see if we can find some even bigger fish. Let's get into it. This is fish guy Chris's job. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. Jack can catch the fish. I'll be the muscle. Get this water in this damn tank. We gotta make this look good. Dude, this is gonna look even better probably than the pond, bro. This looks sick. Dude, already. look at how clear that it's so much better when we don't add sand. I know, it's because way better. It's actually so it's damn crystal clear. Crystal clear. That's why we came on uh, the right tide, and this water is crystal. That water is insane. Now that the tank is all filled up and ready to go, we can start catching some dope fish now and throw some cool stuff in that tank. But on the way here, I got an early Christmas gift from a stranger. Surprisingly, she stopped me right when I passed her apartment. And she said, wait right here. I got goodies for you. My freezer died last night. Everything's spoiled in my freezer. And she gave me hot dogs. I said no, but she really wanted me to feed the fish. So I got hot dogs, multiple microwavable bacons, and some boar's head ham. Mm. What's the, the expiration the fish date on that? gonna complain. They're gonna love that. So we got extra chum for the water. So while Jack's fishing, I'm gonna get the fish fired up so they're much easier to catch. I think crushing the hot dogs is the move. Get those smells in the water. Listen, fish aren't picky eaters. Fish aren't picky eaters. They'll eat just about anything. You can pretty much come here with just hot dogs and catch fish. They literally will eat anything. So whatever's gonna get them closer to us is what we want. Look at this beautiful set of hot dogs. Chumming, chumming. That's great, look, it's sitting right there, sinking down on the bottom. Sergeant Major gonna love it, all the fish are gonna love it. What a move, what a move. Next, you guys want some spoiled ham? Sure, look at that, sinks right down to the bottom. This might be a better move than shrimp. Double cheeked up bacon, guys, nice, nice. Give it all to the fish, dude. These are American fish, they want some freaking bacon. And if I was a fish, to be honest, and I was just eating frozen shrimp all day long from fishermen, I'm ecstatic right now. This is a true Christmas miracle for them. I mean, I'm talking meats uh, of all shapes and sizes. <laughs> they're, that, that's a Christmas miracle. They've been eating shrimp their whole damn life, and now they're like, oh my God, is that an American hot dog? Hot dog is not a sandwich, by the way. So if you think it's a sandwich, you're crazy. It is time to start catching some fish right now. And over the past like three or four days, we have had some insane weather, which is why when you see on the drone, the water looks super milky. But when you look right here, it actually is pretty clear. And not even within three minutes of being here, we've seen countless pair of fish and even a nurse shark. He was about three foot long and he was just cruising up and down. And I would not be surprised if we see him again. There has been an infestation of nurse sharks in this area. I don't know what's causing it, but there's been a lot of nurse sharks here and we're gonna go ahead, get down to business. We're gonna start catching some fish. We got a little piece of shrimp right here with that hook and the parrot fish, like look at, we can see, oh, it's hard to see, but the parrot fish for some reason are eating the leaves, okay? They're eating the leaves, they're eating the sticks and hopefully they're gonna be eating our shrimp. A lot of fish in the area. So this is what storms do, man. They stir everything up, everything gets hungry. We're gonna see if we can start catching some fish right now. I even see needlefish out there. Brooke has spotted one of the rarest fish in town. We're gonna see if we catch him. I don't know what that is. It might be a ribbon robin fish. I can't tell. It could be venomous though. That's my problem that I'm having. Let's see if he's gonna eat this. He definitely wanted it. He tried to eat it, but that damsel came out. We got it. What is that thing? I don't know what he's spinning. One of the rarest in town. <laughs> I wasn't kidding when I said that. One of the rarest in town. I think this is a lizard fish. I think this is a lizard fish. We used to catch him all the time in the winter on the kayak. Look at him, he's freaking out. He even had blue on him. Look at him, that's how he sits on the bottom. That is one of the craziest looking fish ever. Guys, take a look at how strange this fish is right here. He hardly even fits in the bucket, but somehow Brooke saw this guy. I think he, I mean, he's hooked right now, so he's a little stressed, but he had some serious blue on him. But look at the mouth. Do you see the teeth on that critter right there? That is not something you wanna play games with. We are gonna get this guy off the hook and get him inside of our aquarium. What a crazy fish. 
That is wild. If you guys know exactly what that is, let us know down in the comments. I believe it is a lizard fish, I think. So this first fish in the tank, honestly, a rare kind of fish that we've caught here. Obviously not a rare fish. I think it's just a lizard fish, but we've never caught one this giant here. And he's got some dope colors, some neon green. I give that a, a solid 8.5 out of 10 for the first fish of the day in our aquarium. Let's see what else we can find. We've also decided to extend the fish guy giveaway for the end of the year for the Christmas giveaway. We're giving away the GoPro right here. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed and put your email and phone number down in the link below in this top of the description. That's all you have to do and you're entered in to win a free GoPro for Christmas from the fish guys. So go enter into that giveaway. Off rip, this spot is on fire in the winter. Off rip, I threw the hot dogs in. Guess who wants a nice big old American hot dog? We got a fat chain link eel right there. He's big. That's a giant jack. That's a giant, a giant, giant chain link eel. So already we've caught the biggest lizard fish we've ever caught here. We've seen a chain link eel that's huge. There's probably gonna be many more eels. And Jack saw a baby nurse shark off rip. So I think something about the winter, the winter water gets them nice and frisky. And you know when you wake up and it's cold and you're just frisky? That's these damn fish. So maybe, what the heck was that? Gone. I got it on the drone. Parrot fish on. That is so big for the culture we've been seeing him. And I freaking fooled him. You know why? Because I am Aquaman. <laughs> Parrot fish on the drone. I am freaking Aquaman. I just, cr dude, I've tried, I tried the, only the meat. Then I said, you know what? They keep rising up. I took only the skin of the tail, the tail section with a little bit of skin. It was floating on the top, kind of sank down to the bottom. This guy came by and ate it. Let's go, baby. That's a 10 out of 10 fish, by the way. You got to rate it. Ah, nine out of 10. Uh, I would give this fish right here. I'd give him an eight out of 10. If he, if he was a blue, he's a 10, but this guy right here is a, is a good eight. He doesn't beat what we have in the bucket right now or in the tank right now, but Nonetheless, it is a parrot fish. Very, very, very elusive, hard to catch. Uh, very smart, you gotta fool them, but we're putting together a good little smorgasbord of fish here, y'all. Look at how hard, I barely even had him hooked. That's crazy. All right, there he goes. Second fish of the day, a gorgeous parrot fish. Look at how beautiful this guy is down here though. He's starting to turn blue. How crazy is that? Two big old fish in here. We're gonna keep moving along. It might only be a big fish kind of day because that's what tends to happen when uh, we have these storms roll through. That is freaking awesome. We have found a green moray eel. He's in a very, very difficult spot. He's like basically below this ledge right here. So he's gonna be a tough one to fool. He's gonna be a tough one to catch and he's gonna be a tough one to get out of there. I think I got him. Oh, he stole it. Now it is a frisky winter day, like I mentioned before. The fish are out. Blue parrot right in front of me right here. Absolutely gorgeous. I actually captured Jack catching the first parrot fish on the drone, which is pretty cool. But I did fly up and down the beach a little bit, out the inlet. Nothing around, nothing big around. At least like no sharks and turtles and stuff. Nothing around. They are dredging, so it's a little bit cloudy towards the middle of the, of the water. But it is an absolutely gorgeous day here in sunny South Florida. This time last year, I think we were catching sharks off the boat. We may have to do that again. I know a couple videos ago, you guys wanted us to uh, stay on the beach. Look at this pelican. Pelicans are sick. I would come back as a pelican, but I'd be like the smartest pelican ever. I wouldn't eat a fake lure, no. But all in all, it is a beautiful day out here, and we're trying to catch the most beautiful fish possible, a blue parrot fish. Jack, the blue parrot. Oh, he's out and thriving, Jack. Dude, I know. He's RTR, ready to go. He was eating it. Listen, we all know I'm the parrot whisperer, Jack. No, 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 watch this shit. Eel, eel spotted. We have, a, we have a blue parrot and an eel right next to each other. Oh, very deceiving. Very Gobi-like. It sank underneath the thing. He's right there, look at him circling the rock. He wants me, he wants me. All right, I'm getting this guy unhooked, I'm getting him in. I think this is a Blenny, Watchman Gobi looking thing. All right, let's get this guy in here. Quick little shake -a There he goes, Elon. he's inside. Elon, Chris has an eel. <sighs> That's all right, he didn't feel the hook. Confirmed Elon, guys. Rocked up, he's got me good though. I feel it on the end there. You can end pull him out. Pull hard? I mean, it's 60. Don't let him go further. Uh, he's not moving. He'll uh, come out. I have an eel on the line. I've seen multiple, multiple green mores. I think I have the chain link though. There's a big eel on. Big eel on, Jack, I'm telling you right now. Big, big, not small, big. <laughs> pull him. Are you it sure? should not break. And if it does, there's others. I gotta go catch this blue. Really, pull his ass like that? It should, yeah. Okay. He'll give up. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Jack. That's that 60, though. 60. That's that 60. Look at that. Let's Don't go. let him tangle himself. Dude, we have just three bangers in this in this tank right here. We did not even mess with the small fish. Nice hook set too, Chris. You like that? That's an easy get. I told you, I am the eel whisperer. That's an easy now get. What did I say? Who's going to catch it first? The blue parrot or the eel? 
Now That's an go. easy get, boy. We don't have a pond set up for you, so you're going back to your house soon. We might have caught this guy before. Probably oh, did. We have a parrot fish, a giant lizard fish, a little tiny blenny that Jack's scared to touch. He thinks they're poisonous for some reason. He's convinced that they look hella scary, fish, even though they're literally just blennies. And a giant chain link eel. Let's go. Let's see if we can get a couple more eels. I think we may need to do a giant fish trap here again and uh, drop it over there in the under the bridge where we caught all those eels before, but leave it for 24 hours and we'll probably catch 10 to 15 eels all at once. That would be insane. Are my legs sunburned? I, I, they feel the they are very, They are very red, actually. In my um, what is in my this? sunglasses with the polarization, very red. Dude, my legs are on fire right now. New species, about to get added. Yellow stripe grunt. Figured we'd catch about 20 of these guys. Had to hard catch to come one by. of the locals, you know, for the tank. Had to catch one of the locals. For sure. There he goes. I don't know about you guys, but this is probably one of the most fresh looking tanks we've ever put together here on the, uh, the Fish Guys channel. For a tank, we got eels, parrots, grunts, and we got some dope stuff in there. Giant lizard fish. Jack still, he's, commi he's committed to catching the blue parrotfish. Good on him. Good on him. If we catch that blue parrotfish, this could be the first ever 10 out of 10 build your own aquarium ever in the history of the Fish Guys. So it's all up to Fish Guy Jack. I did my part, I caught the eel. It's all on you, Jack. What? You got this. I'm trying, dude. Guys, I don't know what it is with these fish, but they have just filled this area. I mean, this is the second one we've caught. This one I just threw out in the middle because I haven't been getting any bites. It's the winter frisk. It's the winter frisk. We always catch these guys in the winter. Lizard fish, I'm telling you. That is one of the most gnarly fish I've ever seen. I mean, look at that mouth. Look that mouth is that. like prehistoric, bro. That is insane. I think it'll take your finger off. Freaking right off, bro. All right, buddy, welcome. We've got one that's, oh my God, he came off really easy. Huh. There he goes. Just took a little kick. Guys, look at that guy right there. We're about to send all the fish back home, starting with this parrotfish, one of the craziest ones. They're very hard to fool, because a lot of times they just eat rocks and oysters and stuff like that. But parrotfish, not the prettiest one in the world. The blue parrot is definitely a lot better, but some days you just gotta take what you can get. Couldn't get that elusive blue, but I'll take that uh, OG hey, one. Buddy. There you go, buddy. Here you go. Go back to eating wrecks. Now these are the weird looking lizard fish. Honestly, today was a very good inspirational day of uh, what we could possibly put in our saltwater pond. We just did a whole recap. These guys before in the pond would have gotten eaten immediately by pots and pans, but now, who knows, maybe we can get a couple lizard fish in there. They actually got some dope colors, especially under some light. I bet they'd look really cool. So let's let these weirdos go. Later, buddies. They're actually freaking cool, bro. This guy's having a trouble, a hard time. He wants to stay in the bucket. There he goes. There you Look go, you, buddy. That guy's tiny. Next fish. All the right. Local. The very, very local. We always catch these freaking guys. The Yellow striped local, grunt. Local. After this storm, I don't know what happened to them. I mean, usually you can't get a shrimp down to the bottom without catching one of these guys. And Chris was the only one that caught one today. I'm the whisperer, bro. The yellow striped grunt. Really dope. I'm looking. the grunt whisperer. See you later. Wah. He's gone. Very suspect here. Sick, dude. Very, Jack's finally very sus. holding the blenny or whatever the heck kind of fish this is. I don't know but he's what like, this is. He's, someone ate his tail off, I think. Like, actually, someone bit oh, his yeah, tail. That's old. Off. That is that's old. an old wound. He, he healed it up, but he, he ain't got up. no tail, that's for sure. That's all right. See you later, buddy. Good luck. He's literally going to go sit right down on the bottom, right here. Whee! There he goes. He's just going to sit. They all there. hang out, right? They're the... so weird. Honestly, I could have probably sat here all day and caught some more fish. The, we, we did mess up. We should have saved the eel for the very end when we were really done. Because as soon as you put the eel in here, look how dirty the tank gets. That's all the strip he ate. That's all the eel. Like, the tank was crystal clear before. Put an eel in there, gross tank. Eels are just gross. I can maybe grab him. This, this He's got if some you weird could colors. Ever hold an eel? It is like trying to hold an illusion because they're even... so hard to hold. There he goes. <laughs> Later. You literally, you even if however hard you squeeze them, they'll just fly. So weird. Impossible. There goes Mr. Eel. Adios, buddy. You went right back into that rock. What a freaking awesome day. It is finally, it's 69 degrees. That is the high today. It's a freezing day to be a fish guy. Freezing. I mean, sunny, good breeze, beautiful cold weather. It is absolutely crazy. It's leading us into Christmas. This is the last work week before Christmas. The fish guys wish all of you guys a very merry Christmas, full of joy, happiness, family, friends, and love. We love you guys so much. The support you guys showed us throughout this holiday season is something we cannot even put into words how thankful we are for all of you guys that are repping the fish guys next year is gonna be a crazy year we love you all so much we'll catch you on that next one later